Boys are about to choose which of their Scottish lasses they'll be taking for dinner. Oh, look, there they are. I need a poo. <laughs> <laughs> a nervous poo. Yeah. Same here. Well, thank you all for a magical day, but of course we're not just here for frolics. Nadia and Eden sent us here on a very special mission, which is to pick your next date. So I'm afraid it's crunch time. Golly, this is awfully tense. I feel like the late, great Cilla Black, OBE. And it's you up first, Johnny. Yes. <laughs> I still have Becca on my mind, but I have to pick someone for the dinner tonight. Uh, Heather, come on down. Oh, Sam, it's time to select your date. I'm a bit heart palpitation right now, so I'd like to pick Farrah. Mike, are you ready to select your date? I am, yeah. Right, my kind of girl needs to be a 10, and I definitely ain't seen that in my two birds today. I'm gonna go with Steph. Hang about, longest legs in Scotland was Jay Lips's date. Oh, my. That is terribly muggy. Would you like to follow me into the dining room? If I told you that my dog staying in my bed mm -hmm. is like a definite thing has to happen, what would you say to that? My guess would be cheerio. Even when you're doing other things and you're When I'm bed. doing other things, he's not in my bed, no. I mean, Do you know it's so hard? Like, I just see you as, like, really, like, innocent. I don't like where this is going. It's just strange, like, just picture, like, a wee boy doing extracurricular activities. This might be the worst BS I've dealt with from any girl ever. I mean, if someone can only see me for the child actor I was, yeah. that's going to be a huge issue in a relationship. You know what, I've been doubted my whole life, and I've overcome every single thing. Yeah. And you know, I always keep coming back, and that's just the human being Come I am. Come back, Peyton. Yeah, I call I call myself the comeback kid because the comeback was, what? Comeback kid. Comeback kid. Did she just call me a child again? I'm done. I'm out. I don't think really this is gonna go further. Yeah. But uh, thank you for your time. I'm gonna head out. What? Okay, cool. <sighs> the fuck happened there? Basically, the comeback kid ain't coming back. This is awkward. He just left me. I'm pissed off right now. I mean, I'm 27 years old. I've had a lot of sexual experience in my life. I don't need somebody saying, like, they can't see me having sex. I'm just not going to take that. I, like, I thought the date was going well. I think he just took a wee bit of offense. I think, you know, getting up and leaving in the middle of a date, it really is quite childlike, isn't it? Ooh, well, that is. That fucking hurt. Oh, head in hands. What happened with <laughs> that? Oh, fuck, Watch mate. I just jumped on that and it actually hurt. What uh, happened with you? You dusted. Oh, dude. What? You fucking lost your head. Oh, dude. I don't even know what the fuck happened. Like, what dude, happened? Out. dude. Oh, I don't even know where to start. It was, it was not going great, but it was still, like, respectful. Then she's like, well, like, you seem so innocent. How can I take you seriously as a man, like, you know, sexually? <laughs> and I said, oh, oh, like, no. I go, that is a you problem. That is not a me problem. I'll see you later. And I walked out. Wow! Bloody hell, Stuart Little's got some gigantic balls. I can't believe he had the courage to tell her it wasn't working out to her face.